Hi everyone, it's Rax bringing you another Diablo Immortal video, and a lot of you may not know this, but there are caps all throughout this game that limit your progress, and it leaves one wondering how exactly can you possibly catch up as a free-to-play player to the other players that are spending a lot of money, and I'm going to show you in this video two things that you can do, and honestly the only two things that I know of that you can do. Um, to try to get some ground on them. So, first of all, before I show you those two things, let's understand something about the game, as we just talked about. There are little hidden caps on everything that you do. Think about anything. Your bounties, you can only do eight of them, and bounties suck now anyway. If you're a shadow, you can only do one contract per day. You can do maybe one assembly a day, and then you're done. You can raid the vault one time, you're done. Let's say you want to do your gambling in town. If you ever went to West March and went to gamble down here, if not, you should. I should make a guide on exactly how to do that. Right here, there's a gambler. The optimal strategy is you would only buy 20 items per day, and then you're done. I'll make a guide on that later. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, let me know if you want me to make that guide or if you already know how to do it. So then you ask yourself, okay, well, what about your battle pass? Well, your battle pass is capped as well. It has a weekly cap, and I think it has a monthly cap. Everything is capped, man. My battle pass is capped. Where can I show you that? If I go here, and if I go to Codex, full. I, I filled it up instantly. You know, it, it can't do that. Okay, so then you say, all right, well, what about overworld farming? What about layers? Capped. You do like two or three of them, and then the bosses won't drop gems. Don't believe me? Try it yourself. Then you say, okay, well, what about, uh, what about the side quest, little blue side quest? Capped, do a couple of them, and then they won't drop yellows anymore. They nerf the zone events. They're very rare now. You, you, you get my point. Everything is capped. Everything is capped. And the entire, the entire goal here is you want to raise your combat rating. Raising your combat rating is what will make you stronger. So how exactly do you do that? Well, the first way is you find better legendaries, also pseudo-capped, because the first five or six legendaries that you get to drop in a given day have a very elevated chance to drop. So you, when you start playing, you'll see a couple of legendaries drop, especially when you're gambling, you do a little bit of farming, especially in the overworld. Boom, you got your six legendaries, then the chance plummets. It goes back down to whatever the, the normal chance is, and it's very hard to find upgrades that way. So then you say, okay, well, upgrade your gear. Upgrading your gear doesn't work either because you can only upgrade to level six before Paragon 20. At Paragon 20, you can upgrade everything to seven, and then you can't upgrade these to eight until you're Paragon 30. And look how many materials I have. I have 25,000 scrap. I have 1,000 dust. I have 140 salvage legendaries. I can upgrade all these to eight instantly right now if it would let me, but instead at 30 it'll let me upgrade them all one measly time and then I'm going to probably have to wait a ton of time to spend my mats again. Okay, so that, that doesn't work. And then of course the, the, our favorite one, legendary gems. If you're a free-to-play player you'll never get these. Um, it's, very, it's like impossible to get the good ones and it's extremely hard to level them up, right? Okay, so what can we do? Holy cow. What can we do? The, the trick is to get to Paragon 30. That should be your goal. Getting to Paragon 30 lets you do something. So we'll get to that in one second. But how would you get to Paragon 30? The best way is to go to the library of Zoltan Cool and farm over here in the hidden alcove. You can get such tremendous kill streaks. I just posted yesterday, I posted a 5,700 kill streak. And it keeps dropping you monstrous essences. Monstrous essences can be turned in at the bestiary infinitely, over and over and over one day. Like the only unlimited thing, I, I'm guessing Blizzard's going to nerf it, so do it while you can. Turn it in, turn it in. It says there's only three a day, doesn't matter. Keep turning it in, and it will keep pumping your XP bar, and it will pump your battle pass, and that's, why, that's how you'll cap it in two seconds. You're trying to get to Paragon 30. Now, why does that help you? Well, if we go to West March for two seconds, when we change difficulties, we go here, bam, change difficulties. 
Let's take a look at how this actually works. So you start in Hell 1, and you're farming, farming, okay, dungeons can drop two of the set items, that's fine. Hell 2 drops equipment for Paragon 30, okay? And it requires 1220 combat rating. So what you can do when you're like Paragon 20, if you've done everything correctly, if you've found a couple of legendaries, if you've upgraded your gear, you could be maybe around 1100-ish as a free-to-play player at Paragon 20, right? That's not, that's not out of reach for any player. Once you reach 1100 or 1150 combat rating, whenever that is, Paragon 20, Paragon 23, Paragon 25, whenever it is, what you want to do is you want to switch the difficulty to Hell 2 and start farming there. You want to do some dungeons there with a group if you can find it. You want to try to farm in the library in Hell 2. Now, why would you do that? Well, the gear that drops there is significantly better. Now, this is a terrible example because I have a triple stat legendary at uh, Hell 1 difficulty. But in general, the items here are supposed to be way better. And what you can do is you can go over here and stash them. Look at all these items that I have for when I hit Paragon 30. Do you see how much combat rating it's going to give me? Each one of these points is one combat rating. Look at how my combat rating is going to fly once I hit 30. I have, it's only because I have pre-farmed this gear. I've been farming on Hell 2 before I was 30, and you wouldn't believe how many, how many of these drop that are just these massive upgrades. So, in summary, I want, you to under, I want you to understand that there are caps everywhere in the game. You should try to hit them in a given day. If you like the game, you should try to hit them. You know, do everything a little bit to get your six legendaries. Farm in Library of Zoltan Cool. By the way, a lot of people are farming in, in the library. and People say, Rax, where the hell do I go? There's too many people here. Okay, if there's too many people here, instead go to the Realm of Damnation and do a little loop-de-loop -loop right here or right here, okay? You can do a loop there. It's also very good. Or just any zone, any zone. Go to Frozen Tundra. I like Frozen Tundra a lot. Go here and, I don't know, make a little, little loop-de-loop -loop right here. Do this loop and just keep killing stuff. Get the monstrous essences and keep turning it in. Once you understand, there's caps everywhere all over the game. There are not caps on bestiary turnins. Keep turning them in. Pump, pump, pump. Keep pumping the bestiary, and that's going to level up your paragon level. I want you to understand that once you reach a once you reach a combat rating where you can actually play in Hell Two, consider playing in Hell Two, especially at the beginning of the day, so your legendaries drop as paragon thirty and bank it in your stash. And that way, when you actually get 30, you've pre-farmed all the gear, and you're going to get a massive combat rating boost. And for once, they're finally going to have a leg up on the whales. Anyway, I just wanted to show this to you. A lot of people didn't understand the caps. A lot of people didn't understand the combat rating. A lot of people didn't understand Hell 2 or the 30 Paragon systems or racks. Why, why can't you equip anything that you find? When I hit Paragon 30, big power boost for once in my life. Thank you.